Changes are coming to the Triad's largest school district because of Title IX. It's a policy every school must have. When you hear Title IX, you may just think of sports or female athletes, but it's actually much bigger than that. Title IX protects students from discrimination based on sex in education programs or all school activities. Title IX requires schools to adopt, publish, and inform students on the procedures for filing complaints of sex discrimination. That includes sexual harassment or sexual violence. Tonight, the policy is in the spotlight. Guilford County Schools will implement Title IX training for all middle and high school students every year. The reason behind the training stems from a Title IX settlement that was reached by the district after claims of sexual misconduct. WFM News 2's Amber Lake has more on the settlement and how Title IX's changed over the years. At the time of the alleged incident, a 14 year old girl says she experienced physical injuries and emotional distress after being sexually abused. We're keeping her anonymous to protect her identity. She said the incident happened back on November 1st, 2021 on a Guilford County school bus. She was suicidal. She was cutting a student's alleged traumatic experience. You know, we had to pull her out of school for two weeks now prompting change in Guilford County schools. 14 year old me was like, I just want it to all go away. An investigation started after a GCS teen said she was sexually abused on a school bus. My mental health got so bad. Like you said, I was out of school for a long time. GCS found the male student responsible and settled with the teen and her mother for $90,000. The district will also implement Title IX training starting next year. To make sure that other survivors on campus know how to report, that other students know what sexual harassment is, to try to avoid harming their classmates, and uh, to make sure that staff have a trauma-informed response if sexual assault is occurring uh, within the campus community. Howard Kellum helped write Title IX. He says for years, much of the focus of Title IX revolved around athletics and sex discrimination. It's gotten increasing attention uh, for its prohibitions against sexual harassment. And uh, the Office for Civil Rights, which at the U.S. Department of Education, which enforces Title IX, um, has issued guidance on sexual harassment. I think that the policy changes were a huge, huge step. And, you know, one of the main reasons that we went forward with this settlement um, it's very important to me that changes are made and people are more comfortable to come forward with their situations in the future. We asked GCS to let us speak with a Title IX coordinator who would lead the training, but GCS denied that request.